The look of metal is one of today's hottest decorating trends. Whether you are redecorating your room or a piece of furniture, you are going to enjoy our next guest's exciting metallic finishes. Gary Lord is the author of Great Paint Finishes for a Gorgeous Home. Hi, Gary. Hi, Great Sloan. to have you back. Well, thank you. By the way, how did your stone walls turn out in your bathroom? Wonderful. Thank you so much for showing me that technique. Well, I'm glad great. you liked it. Good. Now, what is this technique? This is beautiful. Well, if you have a powder bathroom you haven't done yet or something, this is an elegant finish that you can put in first floor powder bathrooms, master bathrooms, any room, actually. But I love it. It's a metallic finish with a raised embossed stencil pattern on it. This is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And you, all kinds of color combinations. We're going to show it to you in the pewter today. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is if your walls are white or any color, we want to use some silver metallic base underneath the foil. Okay. So I'm going to get a little of the silver metallic and I'll just put it so onto a roller. So we're going to actually paint this right over our existing paint on our wall. Exactly, right over it. And I could do this, um, you know, so you just take the metallic and it just gives a foundation underneath. I was just going to say that's a really light coat. Uh huh. So that's all we want. We don't want to have a real. No, it's a it's a sheer. But what it does is it gives you some of that metallic underneath. Yeah, and of I course, in your room, you would do the whole room with the metallic. And it's a nice soft silver tone. You can put two coats on, but it's not necessary. Okay. Definitely one though. Okay. Okay. Once that's done, and you can see that it's done here on this next board. Mm -hmm. This is already has the silver and it's dry. So once it's dry, then you want to take your stencil and you want to put on your raised embossed pattern. Okay. And I'm going to take the stencil that I have and I'm going to use a little spray adhesive on it so okay. it'll stick in place. Okay. And then I'll just go ahead and lay that down onto the surface. And you can make any pattern. You could do a drop match pattern. You could do a border. You could do whatever way you want. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure that it's down. And then I'm going to take some of the silver palette art, which is the embossing material. And I'll put it onto a little plastic trowel blade. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to layer that onto that stencil. And I want to have it so it's raised up off of the surface. I do not want it to be smooth. I don't want to scrape it down all the way like that because I want it to be thick. I want it to be able to have some dimensionality to it after I lift up the pattern. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Does that come in silver or does that? Or do this you have is already pre colored in silver. It comes in white, clear, black, bronze. Okay. So you can make it really pretty much any color that you would want. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this one in silver is obviously we're sort of working with that pewtery look uh -huh. for today. So then, obviously, it's thick. I'd want to lift it up carefully so I keep with the With it pattern, still being wet? With it still being wet. And then I would move it to my next area. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I would scrape into the stencil using the same material that's there and then just work around the room. Oh, great. So it works out real well. Now, obviously, this is wet, so I can't work on that right now. Okay. So what I would have to do is I have one that's already dry. Mm -hmm. And the next step I want to do, and that you can feel it, takes about two hours to four hours for it to dry. Wow, that's, that's nice really and neat. hard. It is. It's nice and hard. I mean, it's on there. It's not lifting up or anything. And it's pretty just by itself. Oh, yeah. But we'll make it even prettier. By now we want to use a material that's a size, and it's a clear solution. It's like a gold leaf size or it's, um, a sizing agent. So it gets sticky okay. after you put it on. And it stays sticky for mm, 6 to 12 hours. And you'd want to cover everywhere because the foil will not release unless you have that size over everything. Okay. So I have to take it. And I would have to be careful. You Sometimes really give it a good coating of it. Good coat. A lot of times I'll put two coats on. Just to and be you, sure you got it everywhere. Right. Okay. And about a half hour to an hour, depending on humidity and stuff, you could put your next coat on. All it okay. has to be is sticky, and you can put another coat on. So once that's on and dry and ready to go, then you can feel it. It's, you, can, you can almost see my hand stick to it. It is. It's tacky. Yeah, it's like flypaper uh -huh. tacky. <laughs> And that's good, though. That's what you want. Okay. And I have the foil, if you wouldn't mind handing me some. It comes in a roll, but you can cut it down into any size. Do you need this size. sheet, or did you want to go off the roll? Both, actually, because oh, okay. you can use the roll. But now I'll take the sheet, which I've already cut up, and I want to crumple it a little bit, like that. Just slightly. You didn't Just slightly. Okay. Right. And then I will end up just laying it onto my surface. And you can do certain sections around the room, which is fine. Okay. So I want to go ahead and lay it down 
onto the area, and I sort of crease it, you know, and lay it onto there. And if you push down with brushes and other things, it will release that foil onto the oh, surface okay. below. It is just like the gold leafing, but it's such a much larger. Right, it's a much larger sheet. And I could work at this for a while. It's best to do it when the material's rather sticky. And you do want to push down rather firmly to get that foil to release. Now, now it won't release 100%. Don't, okay. So it's not supposed to. Okay. You sort of like a broken pattern to it. What kind of brush are you using? Just any, you can use any kind of brush for that? Any hard, stiff brush. And okay. you can see now, as you peel it up, you start to have some Ooh, okay. patterns. And I can even get more by applying it down and pushing harder. Oh, okay. But then the next step is I want to end up having um, the aqua cream. Okay. And actually... Um, I will take the aqua cream. Oh, this is the same stuff that I worked with on my wall. Uh-huh. Okay. And I will put it into here, and I will use some of the uh, silver metallic, and I will mix it with a little uh, dark brown. Okay. And mix it up into a glaze. And then I will put that, brush that onto the surface, and it creates more dimensional depth to it. Oh, yeah. And you can see it sort of ages and patinas it. Oh, wow, that's more neat. And I'll just do this top half. And then you want to take the cheesecloth, mm -hmm. and you can pat it off with the cheesecloth, Ooh, and then, give, that gives it some additional texture, though. It gives it some additional texture. It gives it more depth. And it, it creates a lot more dimensionality to the finish. I have some other finished ones if you'd like to look at what other ones to. might do. I would love to. Now, Gary, how are you going to care for this once you're all done with that? You would clear coat it with a, uh, like an oil-based urethane or even mm -hmm. a water-based urethane would work fine. Okay. God, these are great, Gary. And you can see with these, you can do borders. Oops, let me show everyone at home. You can have a border, and you can use two different colors. You can do a crackle finish with it. This is done with a cake decorator. The little teeny lines, you can squeeze the palette art through mm -hmm. a cake decorator. This is done with different color foils, again, Ooh, creating different neat. borders. This is a, a hologram. Real iridescent. Isn't it? This yeah. is a hologram foil. It's really oh, wow. a pretty foil. So now where do people get the foils from, Gary? Um, there's distributors around the country Great. that you can get them from. And then this is a, the hologram foil, and I cut them into little squares. So you can see each one. It's like a tea paper, if you've ever seen that's tea neat. paper, which is very pretty. Wow, and then this so is cool. done. This is a champagne foil mixed with the doll silver. So I used two different foils mm -hmm. together at the same time. Like I could have built the foil up more on the sample that we were doing. Uh-huh. Uh, but because oh, of our time, I was just able to do that. But right. you can build it up and have a lot more foil. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much once again, Gary. This has been fabulous. And I can't wait to find a room for this. Thank you.